Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on Ike is Racing in the Ike Corner. Today you are in my room, you are on my desktop because I wanted to show very easily. Not because I'm an expert of tutorials, but just because when I find something, let's say, useful or very handy, because I read, because I do some research, because I study, blah blah blah, whatever. And when it happens to me is the moment to share with the most possible number of people and the majority of uh, racing enthusiasts, petrol heads, uh, geeks, uh, nerds, uh, whatever, what I have found very handy, very useful to create the contents I create usually and especially in the last period. So because I had in my mind the idea of uh, improving my tutorial area with maybe more tests Today is the time for uh, GTR2, Power and Glory, maybe GTR1, very similar, R-Factor, to basically find uh, a way to combine different categories, different cars, and maybe to create a sort of, uh, let me say, virtual scenario, virtual environment that usually is not maybe so easy the first time you try to put your hands on it for the majority of us and to me happened the same i'm not particularly smart intelligent or uh, or capable of deep thinking here but at least i have arrived into a condition where i can uh, create from scratch from zero whatever type of combo between cars and tracks just uh, by editing some easy details or some easy features of any single part to be combined then like I do for example for around the world in 24 hours or for the new video presented some days ago about world sports car category arrived at the end of the 90s combined with GT1 and GT2 cars and what would have been the scenario for Le Mans prototypes so today we do an experiment so pardon me for a bad hair day, pardon me for my eyeglasses, but uh, it was an idea that I wanted sooner or later to put. Uh, to me started to be later than sooner. So I just take 15 minutes of your uh, lifetime to propose a possible path to create things. Maybe it will be helpful for you, maybe not if you are just interested on uh, watching races you will find for sure many other activities on my channel on our channel because at the end i'm just the person behind the camera but but i am basically doing this kind of stuff just for the racing community the virtual racing community on youtube maybe sometimes uh, giving you some notes some tips tricks whatever about motorsport in general and maybe the one less known because it is not the popular Formula One, for example, or the popular soccer. So anyway, let's go inside the game. Let's try to do a silly thing like combining in a single category different cars coming from different eras, years, worlds or mods or uh, whatever. So change of scene in a snap and see you in a second so the change of scene is not dramatic we are still here just uh, watching the screen the usual thing i do with power and glory gtr2 r factor etc is preparing a simple block notes to write things and then i launch usually the program so i will jump into the menu of the program good in the main menu i usually take the easy open practice uh, or time trials uh, function just to surf all the cars so for example the first uh, group let's say i find is american le mans series 09 it's okay there are some model i suppose i'm not going to choose anything in particular just an example and the first example is this bmw m3 e92 category gt2 here year 2009 number 90 on the body of the car 
but as you can see it's 090 within the internal database of power and glory so with alt tab i go back to windows and i have my block notes i just write bmw i don't know m3 whatever year was year was 2009 number 090 if i'm correct yes and the team was the rahal letterman i write it anyway for my database because to me it's important uh, to be easily recognized when i surf when all the files needed this is the first car i go on i choose another class let's say yeah my old uh, around the world in 24 hours and maybe i choose uh, yes the last appointment in mexico there was the toyota ts 010 so i write it down here was 92 if i'm not wrong and sorry 93 number 036 and please remember to always write all the numbers with also the zeros and was the toyota team toms fine let's catch another car let's say uh, an old one with the coupe les alpes okay and let's do yes this uh, austin healy 3000 mark ii austin healy. the year was the 63 number is 033 and uh, donald healy motor company okay we have three cars that's it i want to combine these three cars into something called uh, ikr tutorial okay the list can be also of all the cars you you like but it's just a tentative i can do two things keep the game running if i have to check more details if i didn't write correctly the first time or maybe go directly to the editing phase if you don't mind i choose to close the game exit and go back to normal windows now with the windows explorer flag plus e if you like we can go to the hard disk where the power and glory game is saved follow the path down under computer your root power and glory game data teams and within teams i start to look for the last two numbers of the year of each car so 09 93 63 combined with the number written with zero so in this case the first uh, let's say array to look the first character set of characters to to look will be 09 090 within game data teams there are some possibilities especially if we look to the car file that maybe here is more readable and with the first research you can notice that there are three files already with proper already with properties to be forced to be open with block notes in my case because we are going to edit just txt similar files and to me this one is perfect but honestly i have three options with the year 2009 and the number 090 so i try the first i'm not sure i don't care about what there is uh, on top i just go down and for example here i find uh, the rahal letterman team with a bmw m3 e92 is it the the complete one maybe yes because i did sign 2009 019 rahal letterman as it is good to me is enough to try 99 percent of the times is correct and i add this ikr tutorial 
name of the championship of the group whatever at the end within the classes string line row i don't know how you call it in english after a comma i write ikr tutorial then i can close the file with alt f4 windows asks me do you want to save yes save it one is done the second one will be 93036 in this case there is just one dot car file openable so i go down and instead of around the world in 24 hours i write ikr tutorial alt f4 save the third one will be 63033 just one is it the Austin Austin Ely Healy? Yes, it is. Classes, comma, IKR tutorial, Alt F4, save. Okay, so far we have added a filter basically into each single dot car file for each car. That is the one that can group or ungroup different cars coming from different ages, uh, eras, or whatever. What I need to do is to go back to my computer, to the hard disk where Power & Glory is saved, game data, and inside game data I can see that there are already many, let's say, double files combined in some way. Let me put them very big. So for example, the 24 hours Duman 2014 has a GDB file, but also a TXT, TXT file. I start to open the first. I don't care what there is inside. I just save it as whatever. Generally, I like to save it as SIM. And then in this case, IKR tutorial. So I am naming a GDB file inside Power and Glory to be called like the filter I have chosen to put inside each single car. I save it. It will be a new file, so there will be not the need to overwrite it. And then I don't care about anything else than what I'm going to say. So the game name, to be clear, will be IKR tutorial. The game filter will be IKR tutorial. The special classes will be IKR tutorial equals, let's say, IKR tutorial test YouTube. Then between all the categories, I also place IKR tutorials, tutorial equal IKR tutorial. We can maybe create a space, yes. Then the rest uh, can be fulfilled or not fulfilled. Generally, I do not touch anything about. And uh, to me, that's it. So I repeat very easily the description, the game name, the game filter that was the one inserted into each single dot car file for each single car. If we like an explanation, maybe written like it should be. Okay. And then the category, I equalize, let's, let's say, the IKR tutorial within uh, itself. I save it and I can close it. Then I take the other twin of the same file, the 24 hour demand 2014. I immediately save it as again sim ikr tutorial dot txt that's it and what i can do is uh, maybe clean it so ikr tutorial location uh, none categories uh, whatever ikr tutorial cars for youtube test the rest uh, could be left. Uh, I do prefer generally to keep files uh, clean, uh, so I always uh, erase everything I don't like, let's say, apart from uh, 
the strange written phrases like set font, uh, list box, underscore. I mean, there is a visible difference between what can be, let's say, a normal text and uh, something that is the structure of the file. So to me, it's okay this way, just categories and the header. I save it. I close it. And maybe now, at some, at some point, let's do an F5 to update the Windows Explorer, and we will find something called Sim iKeys Racing. IKR tutorial, sorry. Here we are. One and two. And obviously, inside, they have the thing we have written a couple of seconds ago. So I can close. This one can be open. See you in the game in a second. It will take a while the first time because for what I have understood there is a, a sort of a new reading procedure to present to us then at the end. What is the new category? Let's go to see if we find it. I do not. Here we are. A key art tutorial test for YouTube. Models, exactly the three cars that we have chosen at the beginning of this video. To me, it has become very easy. And let's hope that this demonstration is the perfect explanation on how to do it. It's important, obviously, to respect uh, commas, uh, symbols, etc. Because instead the program crashes. But let's say in 10 minutes with the verbal explanation, we have created a category that is uh, running uh, a Toyota Group C of 93, a GT BMW of 2009, and an Aust Austin Healey of the 63. Obviously, you can uh, choose to do a race weekend with this category, choosing, for example, I don't know, Imola. So you can mainly fight these three cars together. Let's do it at the Imola racetrack with the six hours <laughs> of race. That's okay. We can go down to the opponents that will be two because we have three cars available and one is the one we are uh, choosing to, to have. We can continue. And if we go directly to race, Okay, at the end, uh, now I'm using the artificial intelligence, but at the end, there are three cars battling together as a same, uh, similar category on the same track, uh, etc. So I'm not going now to race uh, this, uh, I mean, silly group I've created, but it is just uh, to give an example on how easy it can be really creating this environment categories like I do or combining things uh, together. I hope it is clear. The only thing I'm going to add to this explanation, please allow me to say explanation, is that to be more handy and more easy to combine things, I usually do not use a TXT block notes file but I take advantage of the Google spreadsheet on uh, the clouds where, like I did previously, let's say 150, okay, like I did previously for the first season of the Around the World in 24 hours, I write down on single columns all the data like I did with the TXT file, but here are more, uh, let's say, ordered, and there is a Momo missing here. Okay. Because when I have all the informations about cars, I can also combine them with a sort of letter X of presence to be sure to fulfill sometimes what is the maximum number allowed of cars for each track. For example, more than one year ago, 
I had the Daytona 24 hours with 41 slots, I forced the slot to accept 42x, 42 cars. Road Atlanta was 32 or 46, I did run 37 and so on. And I can keep trace of modifications. So another example would be the Bugatti EB110 S IMSA number 111 of the year 1995 for the Daytona Road Atlanta and Sebring appointment had the ATW24H filter inside its dot car file and the around the world in 24 hours GDB and TXT file created on under the game data folder of power and glory was taking in consideration like this one was taking in consideration the ATW24H filter for each car that had the name of this filter like was the Bugatti B110 uh, etc etc for the first three races for the Silverstone appointment where the Bugatti was not there or anyway I did plan to not have the Bugatti there I removed the filter from the E5 so for example if we do it with what we have today I should have done very simple game data teams uh, and blah 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 looking for the 09 090 and maybe was still the first let's go to see yes I KR tutorial so I can remove it to clean up this car alt F4 save I can do the same for 93 036 for the Toyota let's go down I KR tutorial clean it Alt F4 save. The last one is 63033. The Austin Healy. Let's go down. Let's remove IKR tutorial. Alt F4 save. If I now run the game, we can do it. We will find any way the category IKR tutorial presented as a group but obviously will not have the three cars we previously put inside let's go to see it in a couple of seconds open practice car from 911 whatever IKR season WTCC whatever IKR tutorial test models empty if now I go to remove also the GDB file and the TXT file from the main game data folder of Power and Glory or GTR2, you will find that it will disappear also the IKR tutorial group. So I don't know if you like it, uh, if it is uh, handy, if it is uh, understandable, feel free to write me if you think that I was not clear, my fault, so feel free to, to contact me. But uh, let's say, this is a simple way to combine cars that I have found very easy but so easy that is Marco Ike is racing proof uh, I think that everybody could uh, approach the game uh, maybe playing a bit with this type of uh, choices this type of uh, editing and uh, luckily create maybe some uh, exciting categories, challenges, fights coming also from different eras like I'm doing and keeping anyway always a trace of what I'm going to do because I think it's nice to play, to learn maybe something new, something I didn't know before approaching uh, Power and Glory or GTR2 and so really it's uh, something I would say that to me expanded very well and a lot a lot the playability of a game because we can rely obviously on beautiful groups that i absolutely suggest you to visit like race department that is uh, uh, i don't know 
everything you can need uh, it's uh, inside here absolutely the same can be said for eSport racing.de absolutely fantastic uh, but there are tons and tons of websites uh, of whatever search you put into google like gtr2 cars download the tracks download i mean you can find a bibliotheque in some way a library and uh, at least uh, it uh, evolved in some way the approach i had with this game discovering many cars i was in love with when i was a child a young child ages ago and uh, at the end uh, you can really personalize your experience within a game that is very well made especially power and glory is almost uh, unblocked if you like so many cars converted from different games like grid like forza motorsport etc what is more or less uh, almost compatible with the gtr2 engine so with power and glory so with r factor etc or automobilista whatever i mean there are many similar details conditions notes uh, filters applicable and you can really create whatever you like then obviously every game maybe has its own set of rules or guidelines and it's fair enough to be so but i would say between gtr2 gtr1 r factor power and glory said can be approachable i mean also in a similar way so with basic editing of .txt files, .gdb files for the main menu, .car files for each single vehicle you choose to combine together, you can really create something maybe more historic than what I do because mine is a combo of different eras and different approaches about uh, facting on track. Or maybe you can choose to combine all the cars into one single category one single group and fight them together maybe reproducing a complete uh, real season of the wec of the year 2012. i must say to me now it's very simple feel free to anyway contact me in any way you like via email or uh, discord or instagram or Twitter. I'm always open to share things, uh, to learn more, or if possible, to share and teach in some way things. In my opinion, it is a nice feature, this one, very easy. So thanks to the developers and thanks to the original programmers for thinking a game uh, easily editable, if I can say so. If you do many changes between each race, I would suggest to you to keep uh, a in even an easy excel file to keep trace of what you do what you add what you remove but also because from a race to another it's easier sometimes to delete just the filter inside the dot car file for each single car you clean up the situation for the cars that will not participate in the race you are approaching and preparing vice versa you can add new cars before with a sort of plan with what will be in and what will be out and then once you have the trace you just edit the the, no, the total number of dot car files for each single car in and out and then with a single main filter in the menu you every time find what you have put in and what you have pulled out apart from this there could be also the opportunity and it's not the aim of this tutorial to instead keep the same number of cars and the same number of cars that is the minimum for all the tracks you are going to race in so let's say 36 that is more or less the majority of the tracks uh, available for gtr2 the minimum number uh, let's say more uh, spread out within each single track i've seen so far and uh, you could use the gtr2 championship manager another beautiful program downloaded from race department or from wherever you want that can allows you to read what you have under power and glory so it will take a while create for example a new fake championship named ikr tutorial it will be a custom because it is not an official one you can decide the number of opponents uh, and blah 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 every aspect and then you can filter by year 
by filter or by category already created the filter you like so for example let's go to find out the around the world in 24 hours that will be after the America Le Mans series maybe here we are it will read uh, a, num a normal number of vehicles that are 30 maybe I don't know yes 10 BPR cars and 20 group C cars just select that filter if you think you are not going to add and remove cars go to the next page for example adding uh, the Paul Ricard and Reims for example and if both tracks will allow at least the 30 cars here they will keep trace also in the single championship of points scored by each single car each single driver and it's very handy because obviously you don't have to do the calculation like I do but if you choose the Excel version let's say you can keep a copy of the file with all the presence of cars in and cars out for each single race give points with the same uh, scheme same table to who scored points and then create possibly a pivot table that at the end with a bit of makeup will give you the classification you have seen at the end of the presentation of the last race of the last season so for example this is the copy and paste graphic table of uh, Jaguar winning the uh, first season of Around the World in 24 hours, Porsche arriving second, McLaren third and so on. To me it's easy and allows me to do my balance of performance even if it is a balance of presence about who on the plan should have participated in a single race then scored maybe some points here and there and race by race I have adapted who was present and who was not between these two tables that created then as an easy pivot table view figure they can update the values race by race and give you a sort of a final classification final ranking I always did this type of uh, calculation by hand when I was a child and I was playing with small real uh, uh, model cars that experience I would say 40 years after 35 years after has become a sort of habit applied to video games and uh, at the end uh, I'm still enjoying to create let's say fake championship or if not a fake championship something close to my taste and see with my eyes and play with my hands and my feet uh, not previously present and shared uh, environment for motorsport racing that being said in the future I don't know if I will combine more and more exotic cars uh, silly cars uh, maybe different categories together I hope to have explained uh, as simple as possible the path through how easy is uh, today combining things uh, and maybe downloading things from the web and then put them together for the sake of challenge yourself challenge different categories different drivers different whatever so that's it i hope it has been uh, as much as possible uh, clear to be heard understood and maybe reapplyable when you are at home absolutely you are anyway welcome to ask me please marco explain it in a simple way than this one or uh, we can i don't know arrange a video call and i can follow you through the steps of each change uh, i'm always available about motorsport i'm always available about racing games i'm always available about uh, let's say even virtual friendship if you like but it was also a way to say thank you very much hoping to bring you more and more tutorials maybe to ease your life with video games because uh, few days ago we have reached 51 subscribers to this channel I didn't have a plan to become like I don't know GP Labs or Ted Meat or whatever and I think I'm not even close to be 
great, big, well prepared and very enjoyable like they are or Turbo Racing for example, my great friend uh, Dimitar and uh, you know, it's always uh, a nice uh, thing I think share knowledge, share uh, different behaviors, share different uh, way to explore video games and because I have a lot to give back because I've been very inspired by YouTubers and by motorsport and by racing games etc. My little drop in the ocean, my little experience that I hope anyway will help uh, other YouTubers or other sim racers to maybe try a different lecture from uh, what is uh, the possibility nowadays to edit and play with video games without, I mean, killing the copyright of anyone, without killing the joy of playing a game and uh, maybe it uh, comes up uh, as a sort of uh, nice attitude to explore a game also in, in this way and not only playing with uh, mods or car sets or whatever already created. So at least you can create uh, your own one. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. As said, feel free to contact me in the way you prefer. From Ikes Racing, this is the end of this little tutorial. I hope to bring something more in the future, depending on my free time. And uh, for the rest, stay very well, stay home, stay safe and stay racing. See you very soon in another appointment. And uh, best wishes to you all and to your beloved. Thanks also to the most recent subscribers. Every time you subscribe to my channel, I try to subscribe to yours. Even if you don't have videos or whatever, it's not a problem. It's uh, more than a pleasure and thank you to be followed. It's more than a pleasure for real to follow you and maybe sometimes to share some notes, comments or ideas. Thank you very much again. Stay well from Monza, from Marco, from the eye corner. See you very soon from Ike's Racing Channel. Bye bye. Ciao. Stay well. Bye bye. See you very soon. Ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. Hello. Bye. Ciao.